I am very glad that they sent a response and they were kind about it, but I still wish that they had listened to me and been willing to hear me out a little bit more. New tonight, an update for you. The Lehigh teenager who won a pageant and then had her crown revoked says she's likely done with pageant competitions. That decision comes as she still searches for answers about what exactly happened here. Lincoln Gray has brought you the story first yesterday on 2 News at 6. So Lincoln, what's the update tonight? Yeah, guys, I spoke with Amanda Giraldi again today. I wanted to see what her reaction is to how the Miss Utah organization responded to her after the fact disqualification. She said she's willing to take uh, advantages of some of what they offer, but she's not interested in future competitions. Simply put, Amanda Giraldi is looking for what she won last Saturday night. What I originally wanted was the title that I won because I earned it. She triumphed in the Miss Lehigh Teen competition, but two days later, pageant officials discovered an error. According to new rules from the Miss America organization, she was too old to have even competed. Do you have any clearer idea of exactly what happened here? Who made what mistake? Sadly, I don't. I really wish that I did. All forms and contracts she signed indicated she met age eligibility. But after she won, pageant officials discovered she didn't. The Miss Utah organization admitted it wasn't Amanda's fault and cited human error. I wanted to ask them what specific error occurred. And given that Amanda was only about a month older than the cutoff, why their mistake couldn't be overlooked and she be allowed to remain the winner. A spokesperson said pageant officials had full schedules today and couldn't schedule an interview. But Amanda has the same questions. Has that been a, a question for you? Why can't they just let this slide yes, if it was their mistake? Absolutely. And, and why can't they just make some kind of exception? It's I'm really not that much older than what they are looking for anyway. Amanda was offered the scholarship she won, a different title, and a spot in the adult Miss Utah competition. She says she'll take advantage of the scholarship, but she's wary of anything else. Honestly, because of this experience, I'm not super interested in participating in any more pageants, but it was, it was nice of them to offer me a spot anyway. Now, overall, Amanda says she just feel like she, she feels like she's not being listened to or that her ideas or compromises that she offered were even considered. She had asked to keep her title at least temporarily and have that runner up go to the Miss Teen State competition. Live in Lehigh, Lincoln Graves, KUTV 2 News.